Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today I'm going to be doing some food prep. I used to do food prep videos a lot at my old house, so it's been quite a while. I may have done a couple since we've lived here, but I do get requests for them from time to time, so I thought I would go ahead and share it with you today because I have a lot of food prep to do. So I hope you enjoy it. I know back to school time is coming up or may have already started for you, so hopefully this will give you a few ideas. I also have tons of recipes and playlists and snack ideas and different things, so definitely check those out. And if you aren't subscribed my channel I would love to have you subscribe all right let's go ahead and get into it first I'm going to make mason jar salads these will be for my lunch all week I have a full recipe video on these in case you want to check that out they're so great for lunches so I've already washed my lettuce and I have been letting it sit here to dry for a little while I love having these salads in my fridge for lunches. They are so good and I do have a recipe video for them which will be linked below. All you have to do is jump everything on a plate and this is a dinner size plate so you can see it makes a good amount. Next up, I am making these peanut butter oat bites. These are no bake, super easy to make and they're so good, they're kind of addicting. Okay, I don't follow an exact recipe for these. I've made them a couple different ways. I've made them with coconut, I've made them with pumpkin, and I do believe I shared that recipe in a snack idea video, so I will link that here. You can click on it or you can check the description box. But for these, I started making them and I was like, I need to double everything because this isn't going to make enough for our family. So I'm going to give you rough measurements. Um, I usually don't measure unless I'm baking, <laughs> but I used about two cups of oats, about a half a cup of chocolate chips, two tablespoons of chia seeds, probably a half a cup of honey, and then the peanut butter I probably used between a half and three quarters of a cup. I just kept adding. You'll be able to tell if you have enough peanut butter because everything will stick together really well. You can see here, I decided to add more of everything. I like to line a cookie sheet with parchment paper and roll the peanut butter balls and put them on there and then place that in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes so that they can firm up a little bit. And then once they're firm, you can put them in a bowl, but I do like to keep them in the refrigerator. These are really good. <laughs> Let me know if you give them a try. 
Next up, I am going to hard boil some eggs for my breakfast and the smiley faces are just so that my family knows that those ones are hard boiled. Next up, I'm making my banana snack cake. My guys love this, and I do have a recipe video for it. I recorded it when I first started YouTube, and I know a lot of you guys have made this already. And then I went ahead and washed all of this produce. since I have a lot of food prep videos to do. Or, uh, I am having a rough time just talking today. To wash all of this produce, I don't think it's in the frame. I have a bunch of produce over there, so I'm going to wash all of that. And if you, oh my God. Some of you really like food prep videos. But they're perfect to take to lunch or school, so you can, lunch or school to school or work so i haven't recorded a full for you i'm just going to keep this video pretty casual because i've already felt like i had lipstick on my teeth and i already felt like i bashed into the knobs of the stove and accidentally turned my stove on while i'm standing right in front of it so <laughs> it's just going to be casual because that's just kind of how things are flowing for me right now what am I doing? Food prep video. Huh? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video.